Folks, believe it or not, I've made the rounds again and thought you might want to see last of the thrift last week and Daytona Flea right here on my take on Home and Garden. Hey guys, thanks for coming by. Just thought you might want to see what's been jumping. And I even had to do a little surfing on the bay. Surfing eBay. <laughs> Thrifting and snuck down to Daytona Flea Market again. And had to check in on the folks at Francis Shop like I always do. Alrighty, let's take a look at what we got today. You know, I'm always thinking ahead, believe it or not. I got things lined up already for fall. And you know how I think if you've been with us. I think way ahead. So let's look at this little beauty, which I believe was on Amazon. And it's from India. And it's a tablecloth in 100% cotton, just like I like. This one's really different, guys. I can't wait to do it. For the 70 inch round, beautiful. I mean, you could wear this, it's so wonderful. Look at the pattern, folks. Any ideas? It's going to be different. A small table for summer. I won't save this one for Christmas. Man, it is sweet. It's so soft. It come out of that tight bundle and it it's barely needs ironing. Look at this, but we'll get her washed and ironed. Really sweet. That's on Amazon, and we'll link that in the description box. They might not have the exact one, but they'll have other ones. I think I've gotten four, and I'm so happy with every single one of them. They're fantastic. The shipping's inexpensive as well might find it free but really good real happy with that all righty now we're at the thrift shop look at this beauty look at this beautiful table piece centerpiece could hold fruit it could hold biscuits or goodies or cookies or muffins or just be on a table for fall, right? And it's reverse painted, which means the top, what you see is clear and you see through to the painting, the paint job. So that's why it's called reverse. This piece, again, I found at the thrift shop, $4.99, guys. $4.99, you're not gonna get it for that anywhere else. But being there at the right time and the, the right price, that'll work for me. Now you know, you can't always get what you want at the thrift. They're just, they're not gonna get it. You know that. So you have to pay up once in a while I went nuts over this. I love, you know, I love fruit. We, we love florals and we love fruit. And this is a dandy. And this reminds me of growing up back home when I was spraying orchards and trimming trees. And these are your Queen Anne cherries, looks like to me. And I loved it. You know what else made it wonderful? The price, $3.99, took it home, guys. What a cute fruit print, framed and everything. 
And also, you new folks, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. You'll never miss a video. We're right here to have fun. And there's over 350 videos in our archives on our channel. They do not go away. You can go back. You can catch up to keep you going <laughs> when it's not Christmas. Still at the thrift. Here's the thrill. I haven't even got these open. Four tumblers. I spotted them a mile away. They're crystal tumblers by Diarcs from France. And if you try to find these or you go online, it'll make your head spin. You won't even believe what they want. Twelve, fifteen, twenty dollars each. And you know we have the goblets in the red. That's why I was just over the moon about the red. Hard to believe too, folks. I wish I could run into this a couple more times and have the setup for the 12 seater. $4.99. Where are you gonna go? Doesn't happen every day, you know that, but when it does, it's like the sky opens up and a ray of sunshine hits you in the forehead. <laughs> so just over the moon about those. Goodness sake. Keep collecting. Keep them coming. When I see them, I'm getting them. And my goal, of course, for most things, not everything, but most things, I want to be able to put together the 12 seater table. That's the goal. So thanks for listening, <laughs> universe. <laughs> Next, we are on eBay, surfing eBay. I found something I wanted for fall. And by the time you see this haul, you should have seen the decorate the kitchen with me. An incredible cobalt blue basket. The only reason it's not in this haul is because it's in that video and it's in the kitchen with an arrangement in it. And I'm sure you saw that, I think, by now. Okay. If you saw our ruby red glass way early, just kind of touched on it. And I really need to redo to a better one and just have it on that. There is an incredible basket. This exact basket only all in the ruby red with the cartouche of cherries. Cherries in this and this is the diamond waffle pressed glass. And I'm 95% sure it's Indiana glass. Okay. You'll see people in there, they got every name in the world on it. It's not Fenton. I'm pretty sure, really, it's, I don't think so. Most of them are calling this Indiana, and I think that's who it is. The blue is the diamond pattern without the fruit. Could call that a festoon or a cartouche of fruit, okay? This little beauty, typically, now this is what they call, you know, fade from ruby red to orange, to amber glass, okay? And this is called Amberina. This style, Amberina, okay? Or Amberine, some will just say Amberine. I'll tell you right now, we had to pay $50 for our red, cherry red beauty 
10 years ago. So you can find them on there for that or even more. Some want 75. And then some will give you the shipping and some, some won't. I got this delivered to the house for $33. <laughs> I love these people. So reasonable. I'm going to, haven't even got to tell them yet. So happy. And I'm going to check the rest of their store. Anybody that I get a good buy off of eBay, I will run through their whole store and check every single thing. And I've got about three right now that were so reasonable and even some that, you know, they'll, add, they'll give you an option of putting a bid on, you know, make an offer. And when I make a reasonable offer and they take it, I'm really pleased with them. But I'll comb through that whole store because of how they treated me before. So, love this. I gotta move on to Daytona where you might really be surprised at what I picked up there. First, out of the gate, some staging. I was going to tease you and go, oh my goodness. <laughs> but these were at Francis' shop. I went nuts over them because if you look these up, they're ridiculous. They're crazy. The drinks and glasses of iced tea or, you know, this looks kind of like a Manhattan. Now, the swizzle sticks were broke off. They were missing, but they were in the acrylic or poly base, okay, to make it look like a drink. And they make the ice cubes and then they put the poly resin in there or acrylic resin. So, I, you know, Frances gave me, she tried to give them to me, frankly. I said, no. I want you to be able to stay here. <laughs> so I gave her five bucks and I had to fix them. And I just think they look fantastic. So if you see these on a table, you cuties out there, you know we don't really partake much. They're not real drinks, but they're, they help the table. Just like the other things I use for staging. That's what it's called, okay? love those. I'm not kidding. If you can go on eBay right now and you can find like a, a little taller glass like this that looks like iced tea, $25. $25. dollars <laughs> There's some, they're more. They're more than that. And they might have a lemon slice. They might be uh, a glass of milk, look like a glass of milk. For that kind of money, forget it. But, so, that was a great buy in my mind. Now, the real biggie, down at the Francis shop in Daytona Beach, Flea, right behind me here. Something I picked up for the living room. You're not going to even probably get over it. Just fabulous, guys. And there is a pair. There's a pair of these. I brought one home because they're a little pricey. Not too terrible. But I'm not telling all my prices when that's not a thrift, okay? Just gorgeous. Look at that sun. Typical Japanese sun, right? Just went nuts over them. And I want them for the living room. Okay. Angela had a fit and said, 
What do you mean there's another one? <laughs> I always do this to myself. I had to go back and get the other one because it was just too stupid not to get the pear. You know, I love pears. In my work, I love working with pears, too. It's a big deal for what we do. So, there's a pear. We'll get up here and get it. And then, of course, I went online for the typical floor vase stand. Now, I'm sure most of you understand that you need a floor vase stand when you buy these. You can't just set these on concrete. If you plunk them down, they're, sh they're gonna shatter or crack all the way up. Even if they stay together, they're, they're done. You know what I mean? This is an upgraded raised stand, highly lacquered and made out of wood. They're Asian, they're proper, proper made Asian. And I did find them reasonable on Amazon. And I'm sure Honey will link these in the description box as well. If you have beautiful floor bases and you don't have them on a stand, please beware. This will absorb any punishment or vibration, or even if it gets bumped or something falls straight down on it. This will, what I call a lifetime investment piece. And I hope you liked our video today. We'll get one out of the way so I can see and talk. <laughs> and if you did like it, give us a like, a share, a comment, send a buddy over. Tell them how much fun we have. We try to be informative and we try to have fun. So thanks guys. We care about everybody. Be good and we'll see you in the next Unbelievable, over the top, collector and decorator video. All righty, and take care and check out that store. Angela will show it and there's a link in the description box under the video. Just scroll down and it'll take you right there. The store is called Spring. And you go to Spring Store and you look for my take on Home and Garden. But it's right there for you when you click the link. And you can see everything in the store. We got hats, stickers, pants, shirts, lots of spring and summer. Really cute, guys. Check it out. You're going to like them. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Check it out. I know that was long. She's going to chop the heck out of it. Okay.